mutually exclusive events. They are also known as additional probability. For more on probability, you need to subscribe to this channel. What are mutually exclusive events in probability? It means when an event prevents the occurrence of another, we call that event a mutually exclusive event. That is, When an event prevents the occurrence of another event. When an event prevents the occurrence of another, we say that event is mutually exclusive. Another thing to note, like I said, it is known as additional probability. Also, words such as words such as or either neither are used describe words such as either neither or or are used to describe mutually exclusive events for example, if we throw a dice, it is not possible for 3 and 2 to show up at the same time. So, when such occur, we call that event a mutually exclusive event. For example, if a die is tossed what is the probability of scoring probability of scoring e three or six B. What is the probability of scoring four or five? And lastly, what is the probability of scoring neither six or one? So, what is the probability of scoring three or six? The probability of scoring four or five? And the probability of scoring neither 6 or 1. The first thing we'll ask ourselves for we to solve this question. The first thing we'll ask ourselves, our sample space. Our sample space is 6. This is because the dice have 6 faces. The dice I have six faces. So if you throw a die, it's either you get one, or two shows up, or three shows up, or four shows up, or five shows up, or six shows up. So A, what is the probability of scoring either three or six? The faces of a die is in this form. One, two, Three, four, five, six. These are the possible outcomes you can get. And we are asked to if three shows up or four shows up, what is the possibility? The possibility is if three shows up, is one all over 
6. If 6 shows up, is also 1 all over 6. So we are asked if 3 or 6 shows up, it means 1 all over 6 plus 1 all over 6. So which is the LCM here is 6. And we have 1 plus 1 is 2. So the probability of 3 showing up or 6 showing up is 1 all over 6 because 6 is the sample space or 1 all over 6 or is addition. So 2 here, 1. 2 here is 3. E. What is the probability of scoring 5, 4 or 5? Also, if we throw a die, the possible outcome is either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 showing up. Here, we are asked, what is the probability of scoring 4 or scoring 5? The probability of scoring 4 is 1 all over 6 again. Plus, the probability of scoring 5 is 1 all over 6. So, the probability of scoring either 4 or 5 is 1 all over 6 plus, which is or 1 all over 6. So, we have it as 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6, same thing as 2 all over 2 all over 6, which is 1 all over 3. C. What is the probability of scoring neither 6 or 1? If you throw a die, if you don't score either 6, you will score either 2. This is the die here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, here yeah, say neither 6 nor 1. If you don't score 6, that means, assuming we don't score 6, assuming we don't also score 1, 1 doesn't show up, it's either 2, which is 1 all over 6, or 3, which is 1 all over 6, or 4, which is 1 all over 6, or 5, which is 1 all over 6. So, our probability will now be equal to 1, 1 all over 6 plus 1 all over 6 plus 1 all over 6 plus 1 all over 6, which is equal to 4 all over 6. So, 2 here will give us 2, and 2 here will give us 3. So, the probability of scoring either 6 or 1 is 2 all over 3. For more on mutually exclusive events, you can subscribe to this channel.